Hello everyone, Galactitis here. Today we're going to be making a video on how to increase performance on Halo Infinite and as well as increase some visual clarity and also make the game actually run at your refresh rate. Because for some reason Halo doesn't want you to run at your refresh rate, I don't really know why. Anywho, we're going to get straight into the video and once again I apologize for not posting for a bit. Um, honestly I've been procrastinating a lot. But yeah, we're going to get straight into it. First things first is you're going to click Windows in the R key. Then you search for percent local app data percent. You're gonna click enter or okay. You're gonna find Halo Infinite settings and spec control settings.json. And really the main thing we're looking for here is we're gonna look for minimum refresh rate and target, or sorry, frame rate. So what I like to do is I have a 165 Hertz monitor. So for my minimum frame rate, I like to do 144, and for my target, I like to do 165. So the reason you want to set your target frame rate to your FP or to your highest refresh rate is because if once you do that, your game will actually run at your refresh rate. Because most of the time, if you have an uncapped frame rate, the game will just run at 60 hertz. I don't really know why they do that. And now also the reason I put my minimum frame rate a little bit lower than my target frame rate is because if I have my minimum and target frame rate at 165 and my computer already struggles to get 165, what my game will do, or what Halo Infinite will do, is it will lower the 3D resolution of the game and make it look a little, make the game look uglier so that I can actually run at 165. Now, if I have 144 and 165, I have a little bit of wiggle room. I have a little bit of wiggle room so the game doesn't have to instantly drop my render quality, my 3D resolution quality. The game will look pretty good. And also, I, you know, like I said, it'll look good and I will have high FPS. Now, what to set your minimum frame rate to is up to you. What I do is I set it to the nearest frame or sorry, refresh rate integer. So for example, if I go to my display settings here, pull this up, and then go to my advanced display settings, my monitor goes at 165, then 144. So if your monitor is 240 and the next is 200, just put it the put your minimum frame rate at the one lowest, one right below it. That's what I like to do. You can do whatever you want though at the end of the day you can experiment around with this it is up to you now for the most part we don't really need to touch anything here like it maybe if your resolution here is messed up and it's not changing in the game you can do something here if you do need to do something with the settings down here you can set your stuff to low mess around your fov if it doesn't work in the game when you change it but you will not need to touch this assuming that everything all your settings actually apply in halo infinite if not go here and try to fix that but we are done here, so we are going to click this X and click save since... Oh wait, no, I did change it, right. But earlier I didn't change my thing and it just closed it automatically and I was like, what? But no. Anyways, we're going to get straight into the Halo Infinite settings. Let's get to it. Alright, welcome back. Here we are into the settings. So, feel the view. Usually this is entirely, I guess, preference. Because some people, they just like the max out there FOV, some people like it around, you know, 90 to the 110 range. So it's up to you. I have it at the maximum because I like seeing the most on my screen. Keep in mind, this will tank on your FPS a little bit because you are rendering more things on your screen. Rather, if you were at a lower FOV, where there's much less being rendered. So, you might it will tank your FOV the higher you go. Experiment around with it, see what FOV you like. Next, make sure you're on your actual graphics card here. Make sure you're not using your integrated or whatever other graphics card you have. Make sure it's your main. Make sure you're using your main monitor here. Make sure this is checked. This is full screen. Now for your resolution scale, if your computer really is that bad, then you can turn this all the way down to 72, all the way down, or you could just try messing around with the settings. I like to just keep mine at 100 because I can run within the 144 to 165 range at 100%. And it'll automatically reduce my resolution scale if my if the game is struggling to keep it at 144 to 165. So it'll reduce my resolution scale so I can keep that FPS while, you know, not just dropping down to a much lower FPS. V-Sync, make sure that's off. That gives you input delay and also it's really pointless. Limit inactive frame rate. Inactive frame rate. This is good if you're going to be tabbing out a lot or if you need to tab out and you want the game to draw less power while you're tabbed out. It's a good option to have. Nav it on or off, doesn't really matter. <clears throat> now, this is basically very straightforward. If you have a potato PC and you just want to run this, 
literally turned everything low off everything to the lowest like i i don't really need to go through this just make sure everything's at the lowest setting possible the only thing like, you can't really go low on is animation quality it's either auto or max so yeah just make sure everything's at low locking quality off async compute this i've heard that is only good on amd gpus and not nvidia ones so experiment around with that i have an amd gpu so i have it on uh ray tracing obviously i don't have it in video cards so i don't think i can do ray tracing now this is a very beneficial thing for you guys <laughs> you can turn all of this off this will give you much more clarity in game some people like the speed lines it doesn't really matter but i turn all of this off because i don't need all this extra crap next we're gonna go to audio you know you can mess around with this this is all preference this is these are the settings i run if you need to copy for whatever reason now there's this this setting i have it at dynamic mode uh i don't really i've never really found a difference between compressed and dynamic in my opinion so you can just leave it at dynamic and make sure your communication device is at the one you're using this is the one i'd be using i've pushed a talk on you can this is just all up to you next is gameplay so people don't know but you can actually customize your hud so I use basically all the defaults for my HUD and the text and stuff, all defaults. You can change the enemy UI color and the friendly UI color. This is what I use personally. And you can like make thicknesses and stuff all up to you. Um, there's all sorts of settings you can do. For UI visual effects, I like to turn these three off. It gives me a bit more clarity. And most of this is just observing stuff. So like when you're spectating, it doesn't really matter to me. <coughs> now. This is the weapon FOV. So this is what guns will look like in your hand. So you can kind of mess around with this, see what you like. Um, I'm going to be messing around with this later on today. I'll see what I like. Last but not least is accessibility. There's more stuff about the UI, more like special stuff that you can turn on and off. Really up to you. The only thing I'd say is go to sensory and turn all this stuff off. You're not going to be using it. Like I said, I don't need any of this. It just increases my clarity and visual. I can visualize everything much better. And yeah, really, that's about the most you can do for Halo Infinite. I hope that helped. Really, the main thing is your frame rates because having your refresh rate at the maximum frame rate and putting it on your minimum frame rate slightly lower will make your game run at 165 hertz or 144 hertz, whatever you're running on. That's the really the main thing you guys can do, and the rest just turn it off. And then make sure your resolution scale is at something you can run. And the game actually doesn't even look that bad on 100% resolution scale all load. It looks fairly good in my opinion. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed that, please leave a like and subscribe, and see you guys another time.